Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ashley and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a daycare tour. So I'm excited because a lot of you guys have been asking me for a daycare tour and I finally filmed it. And I just wanted to like point a few things out to you guys because I was like looking at my footage and I'm like, oh my God, my house looks so empty. But you guys, there's so many, like, okay, you guys know that I just came from an apartment. So that's like the first thing. It was a two-two and now we're in a two-story and there's more space, more room, more things to fill up. So that's like the first thing. I can't just buy a million things, obviously, when you move. So um, it's, I don't want to say it's unfinished. I feel like for the most part, the daycare part is finished. There are a few things that I want to do, like add a couple of things on the wall, maybe some curtains, whatever. It's like simple things. But I just wanted to point that out because I was like, it's pretty empty. Like it's really, really pretty empty. Um, also, there is a part of the video where I covered the, the speaker, like where you guys would hear me from. So it kind of sounds like a little bit... Um, like I have a pillow over my mouth, but I'm just letting you guys know because there's just a little chunk and it's kind of hard to hear But you're gonna have to listen really hard just to hear that little piece. It's not a minute long It's maybe like 10 or 15 seconds long, but I just want to let you guys know that in advance, but um, yeah, so You guys have been asking for it and I'm just gonna go ahead and get into the daycare tour All right guys, so the first door that we're going to be going into is this one and this is actually a half bathroom downstairs. This is the bathroom that is used from the daycare parents, the daycare kids. Um, it's actually very small because again, it is a half bathroom. Um, so this is obviously my light, the mirror. I do keep a soap up there with a paper towel. Then there's obviously the sink. We do have a stool down here. And then the toilet. I actually wanted to talk to you guys about this toilet seat. I did get it from Walmart. Quick disclaimer, the toilet is clean. I'm just laughing because I don't have gloves on. I don't want you guys to think I'm nasty. I did purchase this toilet lid. It's a set of two lids. So you have the smaller one and then you do have a bigger one. So the adults would obviously use this big one and then the children, like the younger ones, would use this one. I'll tell you right now, my three-year-olds use this one. Four-year-olds use this one. I do have some baby girls that, well, and baby boys that are going to be potty trained. I might use this one. I just feel like the hole is still too small and I'm scared of spills but I will update you guys on that and the beauty of this is that this does clip off so if you did want to take this piece off and just have like a regular toilet seat you can but you do have the option to customize it so I think that that is nice and then in there I just have an extra roll of toilet paper I do usually carry wipes in there I just went shopping and I have to place a pack of wipes in there but that is basically the daycare bathroom that I used for the daycare kids then when the parents walk in, this is basically the view that they get. Um, there are two shelves up here. I'll quickly go over that. I got those off of Amazon, I believe. And then I do just keep the sign-in binder up there along with some pens inside of that cup. And then right under it, I do keep a shoe rack for all of the daycare kids in their shoes. And then sometimes my family puts their shoes there as well. And then this is the table that the parents do take the sign-in binder. So they'll take the binder from up there. They'll just place it right there. I leave it there all day. But at the end of the day, I like to clean it up. So they'll just put it right there and they'll go ahead and they'll sign. I do also have some hand sanitizer there and then my laptop. And then this table, I absolutely love it. I think it's so cute. And I got it from Rooms to Go. So I just wanted to show that to you. So this section looks very plain. I did just purchase a dining room table and I'm gonna be putting it right here. Then right next to the little table, there's this little insert. I don't know if you guys can, yeah, you guys can see it. So I got this grass off of Amazon. Very cute. It took me like 30 minutes to put it up and I really love it. I use this as like a background for when the kids complete like arts and crafts or anything cute. Even if it's like somebody's birthday, we'll decorate this area and they'll just have that as like a little backdrop. And I think it's cute for like the first day of daycare, last day of daycare, birthdays. But I will include some pictures in the video so you guys can see how I do use the wall and I absolutely love it. And then over here, it's just like my supplies. So I have scissors, paper, stickers, markers. Um, my agenda's in there, so it's not like laying out everywhere. On top, I have markers and my laminator. And that's just like my, um, that's like for me. So anytime that the kids are going to take a picture, I just wheel it out, whatever, and then wheel it back in. So that's that. So the stairs, the kids do not go up there, so we're not going to go into detail on that. It's just basic stairs, and then it takes you guys up there. And then on this ledge, um, that's the camera that I tried filming on, but we were having technical difficulties, so we didn't use that. My niece made this for me. I think it's really cute. So I have that up there. And then right here are some trays. These trays we do use for daycare. 
for more arts and crafts, you can use it for lunch. You could use it for picnics outside. You can use it for so many things. They're like $7 a piece. They stack. They're easy to clean, easy to maintain. I did have a child sit on one and it did break. So it's not for like heavy weight. But if you do have older students that know how to take care of things, you can go ahead and you can use that. We'll put our paper here, our pencils in here, and we'll do our activities here. Because sometimes... um. We eat here and the tables will be dirty and we need to do activities. So instead of me having to like wipe it down and do all that extra work, cause it's gonna get dirty again for the next meal, we'll go ahead and we'll pull these out and we'll do our work on these and we'll just place them on the floor and then we'll do our work like that. And then this is my circle time bin. Inside of here I just have flashcards. I have some letters and numbers and some shapes down here, some letters. And then these are the ones that I put on the wall. So that's why they're in here and then some numbers and I don't know why that is in here, but that's there. <laughs> And that's basically what's on the ledge. I do have some toys. If you guys watched previous daycare tours of mine, you guys know that I did have two of these units. I got them from Target, super cheap. They're really good, I love them. I did break one in moving. So if you guys know, I did move two times. And after the two times of moving, they got weak and they broke. So it's, it's good if you're gonna be keeping it, but if you're moving, you do gotta be cautious. Cause obviously this one didn't break and it moved just as many times as the other one, but the other one was being slammed and banged everywhere. So I do have to rotate my toys a lot more because I only have this many boxes versus having another unit with more toys. So I do rotate my toys more, but I do like it because it's less of a mess. There's less toys out. So it's not like crazy messes at all times. I'm not gonna go through all of the toys but i do have a camping theme going on right now that's why you see the lanterns there and you see the the camping box there and then the little fire pit there and then there's some camping foods and other stuff like that in there as well then right there i have my kitchen and then this unit we have a lot of ground to cover in it i do have some activity dice that i got from the target dollar spot which i love so if you can see you roll it and then it says 12 seconds, slide like a snail or stomp like an elephant. And then you keep going and they have a lot of different things and times and everything. And I love it. This is the Instax Mini and I absolutely love it. I think this is a good thing to have as a daycare provider, especially if you like creating memories. They come out like little Polaroid pictures and I gave them for Mother's Day, for birthdays. I do use this a ton and the parents absolutely love having memories that are already printed out and they don't have to worry about printing the pictures out themselves. It's... It's really good and I know that the parents really like it. So in here, I do have my curriculum, January through December. These drawers that are closed, there's just random stuff in it. So we have some glue in here. I have my essential oils in here. It's just random things. It's nothing too, too, too crazy. And then I have like construction paper, cardstock, regular paper in there. And then in there I have extra work that I have to send home, like actual work. And then I do have some more flashcards in here. And I love these because I got this from a parent. But if you read it, it says, can you find something orange? So I'll go through these and the kids love it. So I have that in there as well. And then in these squares, I'll go through them really quickly. In this one, it's a lot of junk. Anytime I buy something or get something for daycare, I stick it in here. I had a parent donate the months of the year for me. I have a puppet in here. I have some pom-poms in there. I got, that was a coupon. <laughs> But I do have a lot of daycare stuff that I do have to sort and find a home for. So that one is the only one that's messy. And this one, I do have plastic bags. The parents do donate plastic bags to me. And it's for like poopy diapers. So if I get a poopy diaper, I always grab a bag with me when I change their diaper. And I put their diaper in there and I'll dispose of it outside so that nothing is stinky. And then in here, these two are empty, but I am washing the daycare blankets. So those will normally get folded and be put in here. So that's what those are. And then these ones are all diapers and wipes. Diapers and wipes for individual students, obviously. Diapers and wipes. And then this one is creams, gloves, um, the Clorox wipes to clean off the changing pad, things like that. So every child's name is on every single one of the diapers. I did flip the top diaper so you didn't see the name of the child. But I do have all of their diapers in here and it's nice and snug. And these bins are really durable. I really like them. Got them off of Amazon as well. <laughs> and then over there, I do have the smaller cots there, the larger cots there, the changing pad there. So it's pretty self-explanatory. I do have a couch. If you guys saw the pictures that I posted on my Instagram, I know that you guys have me on Instagram. This couch isn't in the picture because this couch was actually over here. But again, I did purchase a dining table, so I had to put the couch over here. And the kids love the couch. I don't know what it is. They love sitting there. They'll run to it. They'll 
use it as like a table, including this one, but they'll use it as a table. They'll put their baby on there and put a blanket on it. So they use it a lot too. So it's, it's obviously working for everybody. And then obviously I just have two pieces of artwork, side table right there. And that basically completes this entire section. So this is mainly obviously the daycare. And then behind me is just the kitchen, but I'm going to show it to you guys anyway, because I do have a lot of daycare stuff stored in some of the cabinets. And I just want to show you my system overall, so in case you guys have a space that's either similar to mine, you guys can go ahead and maybe use mine as a model if you want to. So I do stack my chairs right there. And then these are two high chairs. I got those from Ikea. And then these two tables are foldable tables. I have one that's taller than the other. Um, you can adjust the height, but this one and this one are the same exact table. But I just have one higher than the other because I do have some students that are really tall. And when I tuck them into this table, their knees will touch the top. Like they're, they're sliding in, but they're tight. So I put them in this one. So I'll separate the bigger ones and the smaller ones on those tables right there. So this section specifically is where a lot of the daycare stuff is. I'm not gonna go through every single cabinet. I'm just gonna show you guys an overview because I didn't organize it for the video and I'm winging it right now, but I do wanna show you guys what I got. So Keurig, um, the stir straws. I have this vacuum, guys. That vacuum is amazing. You guys know. I vacuum the high chairs with them. I get goldfish, rice, Play-Doh. So many things with this vacuum. It is a lifesaver. If you guys don't have one, I highly recommend it. And then I do like writing things down. I am very much a paper pen person. So I always have my little notepad there. And then I have my printer there. And then up here is like daycare stuff. So I'll show it to you. I have some supplies up there. It's a mess. <laughs> But there's chalk up there that's plain white printer paper. Then I have some plates that we don't really use. I have some paint. This is actually of a student. They like it with their milk. I have some bottles, some cups, the caps. Um, this like baby oatmeal. This you mix in with the milk and then you have plates there. So this is very much a daycare cabinet. This one isn't. This is my coffee. Um, cup, mug, uh, cake cups, all of that stuff goes with this. So that's that section. And then down here, um, this drawer is daycare. But it's a mess, so I'm not going to show it to you. <laughs> Down here is just paint, glue, Play-Doh. I'm going to do a craft with these, so I have those down there. I have kinetic sand, crayons, just, again, basic daycare supplies situation and stuff like that. Then I got my fridge. And then this is the kitchen. Guys, this is what happens when you place an order online. They bought me so many, but I only ordered two. And they got me all of these bananas. But it's good. My kids love bananas, so we're going to have a lot of bananas this week. And then this is all like personal stuff, seasonings, plates, cups, things that are not daycare related. But this is daycare related. This is a stool and this is where the children wash their hands. So I have the stool that goes right here. So in here I do have rubber bibs and then I do have these little towels, these hand towels. And every student has their own. So they'll wash their hands and then I'll hang them. Like sometimes I hang them on this ledge right here so that they can dry. So I have that in here. And then this is just, you know, the trash can. So we'll just throw things out. But yeah, the stool goes here, and then up here we have our little hand soap. The kids are obsessed with soaps and smelling them, and it's so funny to me. But um, this is a laundry room, so I'm not gonna show you this room right here. But that basically completes the tour, guys. This is my space. This is where we hang out. This is where I do everything, and I love it. All right, guys, so that basically completes the daycare tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions on anything specific that I mentioned, if I didn't let you know where I purchased it or if it's not linked down below, just go ahead and send me a comment or leave me a comment, and I'll go ahead and I'll leave you like a link or let you know where exactly I purchased it from. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already, and I will see you guys in my next video.